The heavens make known the splendor and the high honor that belongs to God. The sky confronts us with the work of His hands. Day to day this news goes forth, and night to night this knowledge is declared. There is no speech. There are no words. Their voice is not heard. Yet, in all the world, their message is heard, and their words to the very ends of the earth. For it is in them that he established a home for the Son, which is like one newly married, striding forth from the bridal chamber, and like a valiant messenger who rejoices in running on his way. From the edge of one horizon it departs and runs its circuitous course to the other, where day turns into night, and there is nothing hidden from the glow of the sun. By it everything is seen. So too are the words of my Lord. The instructions of my Lord are perfect. They are wholesome and full of integrity, restoring a liveliness to the soul. The statements of my Lord are trustworthy for making the naive wise, and the procedures of my Lord are just, making the heart merry, and the commandment of my Lord is pure. It gives light and sparkle to the eyes. In the fear of my Lord, these revered laws, His religion, is pure in ethic and endures forever. The judgments of my Lord are truth, and they are altogether just. They are more desirable than gold, than much fine gold. And they are sweeter than honey, than pure honey straight off the comb. And what's more, by them your servant is made alert. By them your servant can hear and heed a warning. In observing them, in living them out, there is much that is gained. Who can consider or even perceive transgressions made through ignorance? So please, pardon me for these transgressions, the ones hidden from my awareness, those my ignorance has kept secret from me. And more than this, keep me, your servant, back from those that are known, those chosen in a moment of insolence. Keep me humble, that they may not control me, for then I will be complete, I will be whole, and I will be blameless of great apostasy, of greatly turning my back towards you. Let my words and the musings of my heart be those which find favor with you, my Lord, my rock, the one who redeems me.